Hey, what's good, BT gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. Today, today, today. What's today, Tuesday? Hey, we might make Tuesday Alexandria Fragrance Day, man, because we've been dropping an Alexandria Fragrance every single week, and I think that will continue because they do have great offerings. I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. But speaking of Alexandria, today we're going to be talking about none other than Black, Black Tie Affair. Black Tie Affair. Now, Black Tie Affair is known as a clone of Wise Sales Tuxedo. And that's like a, a bourbon vanilla type fragrance with spices and uh, patchouli and stuff and some rose apparently too. Uh, I don't get a lot of rose, but the interesting thing about this video, this is why I've been holding back so long on it. I've never smelled the OG, but I come to a realization that uh, I have this this uh, fragrance as well, a fragrance world suit, which is very popular. And I'm like, just because I haven't smelled the OG doesn't mean I can't compare these two clones. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today and also talking about this in depth. But let's go ahead and hit the notes up, man, of uh, Black Tie Affair. This is uh, in the top, we got Violet Leaf, Bergamot, and Coriander. Then in the mid, we got Black Pepper, Rose, Lily of the Valley. Then in the base, we got Patchouli, Ambergris, and vanilla. So originally I had copped this uh, fragrance rose suits and I liked it a lot. It smelled great. But after time I realized, man, like the longevity is just not there. And I hear about this one, Black Tie Fair. I hear this is a, a, a version of this, but it's stronger, has a little bit more spice. When I was wearing this one, I got like a mandarin orange, like cream sickle feel, like the actual color. You know, the uh, orange cream sickles with the cream on the inside. That's kind of what this gave me. And I was hearing that's not really what the tuxedo uh, DNA is all about. So I wanted a different take, and I went with this. I will say this is more spice-dominated. Still has that bourbon vanilla feel in the background, but it definitely has the spice in the front. I don't know if that's the coriander. Um, also, this kind of gives me, if this makes sense, a Mercedes-Benz Club Black Gourmand kind of feel. I guess that vanilla really pushes through. It doesn't smell the same, but it has the same vibe. You know, it's like... Like uh, it's like a night. It'll feel like this is a night outing type fragrance. But I will say this is more versatile than what people give it credit for. I know this has suits in it. I know the OG has tuxedo. I know this has black tie affair. Excuse me. But I do think this can be worn in a casual setting. Like kind of like I won't say signature scent because this is a bit much for like high heat. But like even like fall, or spring, winter. I feel like you can wear this casually, bro, every day to work or just hanging around doing errands. You can wear this every single day. And and I think a lot of people need to take note of that because it's not a heavy fragrance. This is like a lighter, has some sweetness to it. But at the end of the day, it just smells fresh and like well put together. And you can, you can smell like that on a daily depending on what your occupation is. Some people dress up every day. Uh, you know, some people wear a suit and tie every day. Some people go to work every day, you know, ready to, you know, dress to impress. So... For those kind of people, I think this can be a, a very good signature scent for y'all going into the office and everything. Uh, the longevity, uh, longevity on this thing is great, though, man. The longevity is great, and, and right off the top, you do get this this like this sweetness that you get in suits. But this one is more; it has you can feel that spice and that body in the back, and it's more dense, and it's like really, really good when it comes to the performance, man. So I sprayed two sprays on the back of my neck before I went home for a holiday. I forgot which holiday it was. But the train ride was like five hours. So, and I got off the train and I got home to my bed and I threw my bags on the bed. And I was unpacking everything and I like turned my neck and I was like, is that what I think it is? And granted, it was only five hours. But the fact that I could smell it that strong after two sprays and being on public transportation for that long, I was like, hey, man, I might have something special here. So the longevity on this thing is really, really good. I wore this regularly. I got eight hours at least. I would say moderate siage. It's not a room filler. But it's definitely got some strength to it, man. So you you might want to be careful if you don't want to be the you know the loudest person in the room. But it's not going if if you use it the right way, it's not going to overpower you. Um, uh, seasons, I would say, like I said before, going into spring, you probably can wear this. Definitely fall and winter, though, man. No cold, cooler spring nights, even a cooler summer night. You know, I wouldn't say absolutely no, because like I said, this is not like a oody heavy, you know, type scent. It does have some weight to it, but it's not the heaviest of the heaviest. So if you use this sparingly and in the right situation, you're going to be totally fine, man. The, the perfect situation for this, man, is like a wedding, bro. I see this or like a what – are, what are those parties called after weddings, man? I'm, I'm not married, so, like, I can't really describe that. And I'm still, I'm still trying, you know, to get everything down for the future. But uh, 
Yeah, it's those those gatherings after you celebrate your wedding, something like that, a holiday party, this would be nice. Because like I said, this does have like a gourmand feel, which kind of gives it, you know, in my opinion, like a nighttime feel, but you can also pull it off during the day. I have no complaints with a black tie fair. Honestly, Fragus Royal Suits is good as well. It's just, like I said, the performance is not for me. Um, I want to smell my fragrance on myself. And this is why me and Back Rock Rouge 540 have a fight every single time I wear it. But this stuff, it just doesn't, I don't smell it on myself. And and I, I don't want to say that's a deal breaker, but like it's, it means a lot to me, especially when I can buy something else for the low as well. So I'm probably going to be throwing this up on Macari, man. Y'all let me know if y'all interested in this. I need to set up my Macari, by the way. This is a side note. I hear there's so many rules and regulations with USPS. You can't like ship a, a fragrance certain ways because it contains alcohol and it's flammable. I digress, man. But I'm throwing this up on Macari if y'all want this because I know a lot of people have success with suits. It's not. It's really, you know, not a huge den. It's a den in there, but you know, I'll throw it up on there and give y'all a good deal if y'all want to cop. But all in all, man, Black Tie Fair. I love this fragrance so much. I'm probably gonna end up getting a full bottle. This juice is gonna last me a long, long time, though, man. Like I said, I'm gonna wear this heavy in the fall. Maybe even a cool spring night, I might pull this out, man. When I'm trying to, you know, dress my best and look nice, man. But yeah, I get this overall eight out of ten. Like I said, I haven't smelled the OG, so I don't know how close this is to the OG. I will say a lot of people do complain about this one being a little bit strong. Uh, like, like upon like the first couple minutes of the first spray, they say it's like kind of messy and chemically. I don't get that messy chemically. It might be a little bit strong, but all pudding to me sounds like kind of crazy because all pudding to me sounds like it doesn't smell good at all. This smells decent when you first spray it on, but just give it time, give it five minutes, and um. Uh, you're going to have no problems, man. This this thing is going to work wonders for you. And if you're looking for that tuxedo DNA, even though I don't know the official like smell of it, I think this will do you pretty well, man. I have no complaints. Definitely a compliment, a getter as well. I got two compliments while wearing this. Nothing crazy. They just said I smell nice. So take for that what you will, man. And also compliments are not guaranteed. I have to say that because a lot of people always ask me, well, I'm not getting compliments. Well, I'm not getting compliments. Yo, it's not guaranteed. You know, it's kind of a, a weird thing because people a smell is very personal and some people feel weirded out by asking what you smell. You know, y'all get it. You get what I'm saying. So yeah, but Black uh, black Tie Fair, a really, really good fragrance. I want y'all to check it out. You can also buy a decant like this for 20 bucks, man, and, and use Alexandria 15 for 15% off. That's what I did personally. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but I have so many Alexandria products. It's kind of insane. If y'all, you know, Alexandria, look, man, look. If y'all don't sponsor me, who are y'all going to sponsor? You feel me? I, I, I'm, I'm dying on y'all heel. Hit me up, man, on this plan. But I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all know how I rock with Alexandria fragrances, man. And y'all know how I rock with y'all as well. Honestly, y'all come first. But yeah, man, y'all go ahead and uh, uh, stay blessed, man. I love y'all. Peace.